Before we proceed discussing the second type of macromolecule, which is lipids, let's have first a short review on carbohydrates. 10 seconds will be allotted for every question. I would like you to answer it before the answer is shown on the screen. Good luck! In the previous lesson, we we'll learned that several monomers are combined to form a polymer, and that is possible when water is removed as a byproduct through a process called dehydration synthesis. On the other hand, a polymer will be broken into smaller subunits called monomers when water is added through a process called hydrolysis. This time, we will focus on discussing the lipids, and at the end of this lesson, you are expected to first, recall that lipids can be classified into simple, complex, and derived lipids. Second, compare and contrast the structure and functions of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. And last, describe the properties of triglyceride, phospholipid, and cholesterol molecules and relate them to their functions in organisms. Now, alamin natin kung ano ang functions, composition, at kung saan part ng cell karaniwang matatagpuan ang lipids. Ang lipids have the proportional elemental composition of carbon and hydrogen and little amount of oxygen. Karaniwan itong matatagpuan sa biological membrane ng cells. The functions of lipids are as follows. Una, this is the main structural component for biological membranes, particularly cell membrane. As you can see, the phospholipids are found in the extracellular part or labas na bahagi ng cell at intracellular part Kaya ito tinawag na phospholipid bilayer. Phospholipids consist of a glycerol molecule, two fatty acids, and a phosphate group that is modified by an alcohol. The phosphate group is the negatively charged polar head na binubuo ng glycerol, which is hydrophilic or soluble in water, kaya tinatawag na water-loving. Meanwhile, 
The fatty acid chains are the uncharged, non-polar tails. Ang isang tail ay unsaturated fat, while the other are saturated fatty acid. And both are considered hydrophobic or water-fearing kasi binubu ito ng fatty acids which are not soluble in water. Pangalawa, if the carbohydrates are the quick source of energy, ang lipids naman are considered as an energy reserve. Ito ay nagiging energy reserve kapag nasa form of triglycerides or an ester formed from glycerol and three fatty acid groups. Triglycerides or triester of glycerol or triglycerols are the main constituents of natural fats in oils. At ang mataas na concentrations nito sa ating dugo indicate an elevated risk of stroke. Triglycerides consists of a glycerol backbone with three fatty acids bonded to the backbone in an ester linkage. This is the structure of unsaturated and saturated fatty acids. The difference between saturated and unsaturated fat lies in the number of double bonds in the fatty acid chain. Saturated fats lack double bonds between the individual carbon atoms. While in unsaturated fats, there is at least one double bond in the fatty acid chain. Moreover, saturated fatty acids increase bad cholesterol or LDL, while unsaturated fatty acids increase naman the good cholesterol or HDL or high-density lipoprotein. Kaya nga mas advisable mag-consume ng oils derived from vegetable kasi napapataas nito ang ating good cholesterol. Please also check the four types of dietary fats. The first two which are polyunsaturated and monounsaturated are considered healthful fats meaning they both have heart healthy benefits including decreasing inflammation and improving cholesterol. They've been found to decrease cardiovascular disease when they replace saturated fat in your diet. On the other hand, the saturated and trans fats increase your risk for heart disease and stroke. Speaking of cholesterol, cholesterol is a waxy type of fat or lipid which move throughout your body and your blood na matatagpuan lamang sa pagkain that come from animals. Basically, meron tayong four main types of cholesterol gaya ng mga sumusunod. First, we have the low-density lipoprotein or LDL or bad cholesterol. These are considered plaque builders because uh, they are the main source of blockages in the arteries. Second, we have the high-density lipoprotein or HDL or good cholesterol. These are considered as bad cholesterol eaters. And third, we have the triglycerides or the one that can be found in the blood fats. And fourth, we have the very low-density lipoproteins or VLDL which are considered as triglycerides carriers. Ang ikatlong function nito ay bilang precursors of fat-soluble vitamins like vitamins A, D, E, and K. Ganun din ang hormones at bile acids na critical o napakalaga for digestion and fat absorption. These vitamins are called the fat-soluble vitamins because they are soluble in organic solvents and are absorbed and transported in a manner similar to that of fat. Pang-apat, the lipids protect vital organs against shock. Ang mga vital organs gaya ng heart, kidneys, and liver are protected by visceral fat or adipose tissue. At ang panglimang main function ng lipids sa ating katawan ay for thermal insulation. The skin has three layers the epidermis, the outermost layer of skin which provides a waterproof barrier and creates our skin tone. Second, we have the dermis or beneath the epidermis which contains 
cough, connective tissues, hair follicles, and sweat glands. And the last, we have the deeper subcutaneous tissue or hypodermis, which is made of fats and connective tissues. Ang lipids ay binubuo ng specialized cells called adipocytes found in the subcutaneous layer of skin for insular barrier to help our body to regulate the temperature. Subcutaneous fat or fat underneath the skin insulates the body from extreme temperatures and helps keep the internal climate under control. Okay, now let's discuss the three classifications of lipids. These are the simple lipids or homolipids, compound or heterolipids, and derived lipids. Simple lipids are esters of fatty acids with various alcohols. Major types include fats or solid lipids and oils or liquid lipids, including waxes, phospholipids, and steroids. Fats are made up of fatty acids and either glycerol or sphingosine. But fats in oils and waxes are the two main types of simple lipids. Triglycerides can be simple or mixed. In a simple triglyceride, all three fatty acid groups are identical. In a mixed triglyceride, two or even three different fatty acid groups are present, and most fats in oils contain mixed triglycerides. Another type of simple lipids is the waxes. A wax is a simple lipid which is an ester of a long chain alcohol and a fatty acid. Ibig sabihin, ang wax is a combination of fatty acids and alcohol. Waxes are found in nature as coatings on leaves and stems, including some aquatic birds. Because of the hydrophobic nature of waxes, they prevent water from sticking on the surface. The second classification of lipids is complex lipids. Complex lipids are the esters of fatty acids with groups other than alcohol and fatty acids such as phosphates, nitrogenous bases, sugars, at ipapa. It has three major examples like phospholipids, glycolipids, and sulfolipids. Phospholipids, as we discussed earlier, are the main component of cell membrane. It regulates the permeability of the membrane, kaya it makes the cell membrane semi-permeable, which means uh, it will only allow some molecules to pass through while blocking the passage of other molecules. Common examples of phospholipids are lecithin, kifalin, plasmalogen, and sphingomyelin. Other common types of complex lipids are the glycolipids or carbohydrate-attached lipids, which are associated with cell membranes kaya responsible for cell-to-cell -cell recognition and interactions. Glycolipids can also act as a receptor for viruses and other pathogens to enter cells. Common examples of glycolipids are cerebroside and gangliosides, which occur extensively in our brain tissues. Cerebroside usually occurs in white matter of the brain, which is primarily responsible for communication between the various matter, gray matter regions, and between the gray matter and the rest of the body. In essence, the gray matter where the gangliosides are found is where the processing is done and the white matter is the channels of communication. Okay, the last type of complex lipids is the sulfolipids, which are a class of lipids which possess a sulfur-containing functional group. It has a sulfonated glucose residue joined to a triglycerol in glycosidic linkages, which also predominantly exists in the chloroplast of a cell. Plus, derived lipids are the derivatives of hydrolysis of simple and complex lipids which possess the characteristics of lipids. In other words, they are lipids 
derived from simple in complex lipids by hydrolysis. These include alcohol, fatty acids, sterols, and isoprenoids that are divided into terpenoids or terpenes and carotenoids or tetrapenoids. Alcohols are organic molecules assembled from carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms. This is an organic compound that carries at least one hydroxyl functional group or OH bound to a saturated carbon atom. One way of classifying alcohols is based on which carbon atom is bonded to the hydroxyl group. We will discuss it further in the next modules, okay? Another example is fatty acids. These are long-chain hydrocarbons that can be separated into four categories, saturated, monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, and trans fats. Next is sterols, which are steroid alcohols with an OH group on the first 6 C ring and has no fatty acids in the structure. For example, is the isoprenoids that have several functions in organisms such as for pigments and fragrances to vitamins and precursors of sex hormones. Both terpenoids and carotenoids are organic pigments. Terpenes are widely used as fragrances and flavors in consumer products such as perfumes, cosmetics and cleaning products as well as food and drink products moreover terpenoids give violets and roses their scents and are found in turpentine and rubber carotenoids or tetrapenoids are yellow orange and red organic pigments produced by plants algae and several bacteria and fungi all right we're done discussing the basics of lipids but before you take the test please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more lesson updates okay let's find out how much you have learned from this lesson you have 10 seconds to answer each question and to know your result kindly click on the link provided at the end of this video or the one in the video description. Good luck!